What's going on everybody and welcome back to another video. If you're not familiar with this channel, my name is Reggie Bryant and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. And today we're going to talk about money traps to avoid in 2022. I'm telling y'all something, these past couple years have been kind of crazy. And to be honest, 2022 kind of feels like 2020 part two. Like it feels more stable than the year 2020 felt because the whole world basically just ended in 2020. But in 2022, it still feels kind of weird, kind of unstable. And if you didn't know, we are in a recession. And even though it may not feel like we're in a recession, I can tell you right now we're in a recession. And with that, there's a lot of money traps that people fell into in the year of 2020 that I don't want you to fall into in 2022. And that's what we're gonna go over in this video. There's money traps all the time no matter if there's a recession or not, no matter what year it is, but I want you to be especially careful nowadays. And I'm about to go over why right now. So if you remember back in 2020, when the stock market took a big hit, I mean, it was a massive hit. It was a way bigger hit than it's taken right now. And a lot of us professionals are invested in a 401k, which is their retirement plan. And if you don't know what a 401k is, that is money that comes out of your paycheck every single time you get paid that then gets invested into stocks or a group of stocks. And that money compounds and grows over time and that's how you retire, that's how you end up having millions of dollars or hundreds of thousands of dollars by the time you actually retire. And the idea is you invest so much and it grows so much that by the time you do retire, you can live off of that comfortably for the rest of your life and maybe even pass on some to your family. But when 2020 hit, Boom, people are like, screw that, I'm taking all my money out. It's dropping now, I lost, you know what I'm saying, $30,000, I'm gonna take all of it out. I lost 10 grand, I'm taking all of it out so it doesn't go to zero. That is the wrong mindset to have. So the first money trap to avoid is don't let fear get the best of you, especially with the stock market. Don't let fear make you take all your money out of your 401k account, because let me tell you something, in 2020, I was down like $6,000. But because I've done so much studying and because I know about personal finance and I know about the stock market, I know it's going to recover. Plus, I know what my 401k is invested in, too. That's also key to actually know what you're invested in within your 401k and how it performs over time. Somebody just slammed their door. I'm going to have to have a talk with my neighbors. You know what I'm saying? So. Basically, what I'm saying is I didn't touch that money at all because I knew if I took some money out, I would be at an even bigger loss than I would have if I just didn't do anything. So I didn't do anything. Fast forward to now, even in a down market, I'm up on my 401k. And if we're talking about last year, which was 2021, I gained that I gained that $6,000 back plus another $8,000 on top of that. And after that, it just kept growing incrementally. So I was like, yeah, I made the right decision. That's right. But that's why it's super key. You don't have to be an expert at the market, but you should at least study what you're invested in and understand how it performs. If you don't like the way it performs over time, just by looking at their chart, here's an example of a chart, by the way. But if you're not happy with how the chart looks, you can go in and make adjustments within your 401k. You might have to ask somebody how to do it, but there is a way to do it. So what I'm saying is don't take all your money out of your 401k because you're going to put yourself at an extreme disadvantage. Your 401k will basically have to recover from where it is after you take all the money out of it. You'll delay your retirement. You'll have less net worth. And you'll have let your fear get the best of you to the point where you make a rash decision like taking your money out of your 401k. And so many people do this and they don't really understand the impact of it. Like they really think it's going to just all go to zero. That is not how it works. And it's the same thing with bank accounts. If you have 20 grand in your bank account, please, I'm begging you, don't go to your bank and take all of the 20 grand out or a massive amount of it out. Just leave it in there. Like it's gonna gain more money sitting in the bank. It's not gonna gain that much money, but it's gonna gain more money than it would under your mattress. And I've seen this a lot. And this might not seem like a big money trap, but I'm telling you fear is the biggest money trap there is. Fear is what causes people to lose money. So I'm telling you right now, please, for the love of God, do not pull money out of your 401k. Don't pull your money out of really anything except for like your emergency fund, which by the way, your emergency fund is for emergencies. So please, for the love of God, don't pull your money out of your 401k. Leave it in there, let it grow. The stock market's gonna have ups and downs. We can't get afraid when we see it go down because what people did was they took, they took their money out of their 401k and then they refuse to invest more in it. But when the market's down, that's when you wanna invest even more in it because you get more for your money that way. It's just like if you go grocery shopping and all of a sudden all the items that you're gonna buy go on sale. So instead of getting just one pack of chicken, you might go and get 
four packs of chicken for the price of what one used to be. It's the same way with stocks and your 401k. Like if you're putting $300 into the stock market every single paycheck, and that's exactly how much a share of whichever company costs is $300, but then all of a sudden it goes down to 150. If you put in $300, now you're getting two shares for the price of one. That's how you want to look at it. And the more shares you have, that's what equals your freedom. That's why the more money you have in your 401k, that's what equals your retirement. That's why you shouldn't pull your money out of your retirement. That's all I'm saying. The next thing, and this is the biggest thing I saw in 2020, don't get too comfortable i know you probably got a good job you make a good salary you have a good life you have a nice place you have a nice car you know what i'm saying you're living good but i want to tell you don't get too comfortable be very aware that in recessions layoffs are very normal and what affects one company might affect another company and we don't know what's going to happen we don't know what is going to happen in the future so it's best to always be prepared and what i mean by that is have some savings have an emergency fund, have a plan B. If you have another stream of income, I highly recommend doubling down on that. Because when you get too comfortable, when you just come home and you just chill, you don't really do anything else, you're relying on one stream of income. Which is fine if you have the emergency fund to back you up, but most people don't. Like, do you have a plan in place if you were unemployed now for the next three to six months? Do you have a plan B? Think about it that way. And also, don't be so comfortable that you just spend money frivolously and freely just because you got it, because that can also put you in the hole. That's a money trap. It's a money trap when you're just chilling on a Friday night, you know what I'm saying, and it happens to be a Friday night as I'm filming right now. Well, you're chilling on a Friday night, you don't feel like cooking nothing, so you, eh, Uber Eats. But then that Friday night becomes Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, after work, because you just, hey, I'm just chilling. I don't feel like cooking. That becomes a habit, and that money that you keep spending on Uber Eats adds up and multiplies itself because you keep doing it every single day. And then you sit around wondering where your money done went. Oh, but it's okay, because I'll get paid in the next two weeks. You never know what's going to happen, though. If your job snaps your fingers and said, hey, ain't going to be no more overtime for a while. We're cutting costs. The extra money that you were counting on getting from that overtime is now gone. And we're going to see a lot of that. I can guarantee you that. Maybe not at every company, but at a lot of companies, we're going to see overtime get cut. Because that's what companies do when they need to cut costs. The easiest way to cut costs is people. The way you do that, you cut the overtime. And that might not be a big deal for most people because a lot of people don't want to do overtime anyway. But what if they snap their finger and say, hey, now you're laid off. Hey, we're shutting down for two weeks, two months. We'll call you if we need you back. Y'all got to understand, this stuff happened in 2020. And all what we're seeing is history repeating itself. And I'm not saying this is going to be identical to 2020, because obviously it's not. But as we enter a recession, we're going to see different things happen. Gas prices already skyrocketed. There is a food shortage. So now for the price of what might have filled your car up two or three times over is for the price of one. I remember back in like... 2019, my car didn't cost more than 20 bucks to fill up. Now all of a sudden, it's 50 freaking dollars. And we're talking about an economy car. A Hyundai Accent, to be exact. Don't be too comfortable because now you have the money or now you're able to swipe your credit card and not really have to have any remorse behind it. I'm telling you, this is not the time to sit around and get comfortable. It is on. It might seem calm right now because the whole world isn't shut down and everything seems like butterflies and rainbows. But things are not always what they seem. You can't be comfortable. So I would, I would say this. Always invest in yourself. And what I mean by that is invest in your education. Always learn. It doesn't have to be that you spend money. Spend time learning skills. Spend time learning about what's going on in the world right now. Spend time understanding what a recession actually is, what it actually means to be in a recession, how long a recession lasts, and how it can impact you and your family. Because no one checks these boxes, and then as a result, when a recession actually hits, everybody's freaking out. Crime rates go up. People get to acting crazy. People demand raises at work, even though ain't going to be no raises, because when you're in a recession, companies are definitely tight on money. There's so many moving parts to this that I'm just saying... That's why I named this video Money Traps to Avoid in 2022 because it's very specific to this year. And this last thing I want to say about being too comfortable before I move on to my next topic. I've been seeing a lot of things on YouTube ads or on Facebook or on Google about these get rich quick 
You know what I'm saying? Type of thing. Saying Johnny just started his first week and already made thirty thousand dollars in his first day in sales on Amazon. Isn't that just wonderful? You can do that. It's super super easy. Or you see these ads saying, "Don't sell products on Amazon. Do this instead." And no one knows what this instead is. And I'm exaggerating a little bit, but I'm just saying like. There's all these ads saying how you get rich quick, how in the first week you're making, you know, $50,000 and how in the first month you made a total of $100,000 and it's super easy. All you have to do is press a button, enter my free webinar that then inevitably offers a course that's like a thousand, you know what I'm saying, dollars. And then people get so bullish, and by bullish it just means that you have faith in it and you actually think it'll work. People get so bullish in these things that they actually spend their money on it and then it's just a scam. Don't get too comfortable. Just because you have extra money doesn't mean everything you invest your money in is going to be good. Especially not stuff that's too good to be true. Like, hey, you can click a button. Hey, you can just work at home and make $100,000 on Amazon just by doing this, this, and this. One, two, three, super easy peasy. Nothing comes easy. You can get rich fast, but you cannot get rich easy. There's a total difference. And when you see someone promoting that you can get rich fast and easy at the same time, that's a big red flag. Walk away. Walk away. That's like somebody on YouTube with a million subscribers saying, hey, buy my course and I'll give you the exact results that I have and I'll help you get it quicker than I did. And instead of it taking two years for you, it'll take you two months. Like, come on now. Rant over. Anyway, speaking of which, speaking of which, the third thing to look out for, the money trap to avoid in 2022 is high risk investments. And I'm specifically talking about crypto. It's just like stocks, top dogs only. You know what I'm saying? With stocks, I'm looking at Apple, Microsoft, NVIDIA, Google, Amazon, stocks like that. Stocks that have obvious track record. They're absolutely dominating. It's the same thing with crypto. There's only a couple of crypto that are dominating right now, and that's Bitcoin and Ethereum. And even those have taken a massive hit. So I'm saying this to say this. Mainly because of the growth of crypto in the years of 2020 all the way to 2021 has been so great. People are like, oh, I'm going to get rich just by putting my money into a coin that everyone is telling me to put my money into. They're like, hey, go buy Dogecoin. Hey, go buy Terra Luna. Some of y'all don't even know what I'm talking about. When you Look, when you get a chance, look this stuff up. I'm not kidding. You know, Dogecoin, buy the Shiba Inu coin, like stuff like that. It just, it gets on my nerves because it goes mainstream really, really quick. It goes viral. People put their money into it and some a select few people make money, like real money out of it, but then everybody else loses money because of it. And so with that, I mean, just do your own research. If you're going to invest in something high risk, I get it if you're on the younger side. Like, I'm also on the younger side, so I'm going to have more risky investments, but I'm also going to be smart about what my risky investments are, and I'm going to have my research and due diligence done before I do it. Because if you look at Terra, everybody was so bullish on Terra, they put so much money in there, and then what happened? That thing went to zero. You want to talk about being upset? That would make anybody upset. That's the money you want to withdraw from, not your 401k. That's what you want to be aware of being too comfortable with because now you're comfortable with investing a bunch of money into Luna because you think, oh, I'm going to be rich after this. Nah, last time I checked, zero dollars and zero cents ain't rich. So be careful with high risk investments, even the stock market. This is why we have to educate ourselves. I know a lot of y'all watching my videos aren't heavy into the stock market or the crypto market, but I do recommend that you start learning about the stock market in general because that is the one thing that can guarantee that you become wealthy one day. You need to really learn how to assess a company and understand how much the company is really worth because then you'll be able to spot, okay, that stock is $180, well, it's really only worth $120, and that's a fair price. Right now, it's overvalued, so I'm not going to touch it right now. Plus, it's at an all-time high. That type of thinking is what's going to stop you from losing money, because if you buy it at an all-time high, and then it drops to $160, you know what I'm saying, or to $110 or $120, then you're going to be mad. You're going to be like, oh, this stock is broken. It doesn't work. I'm never investing again. I'm pulling all my money out. So, I mean, think about it that way. I know y'all probably thought this video was going to be about frugal living, you know, how to cut costs. Like, no, nah, I'm I'm, this is a real video teaching you how to save money by not making rash decisions. You know what I'm saying? Pulling your money out of your 401k, that's a rash decision. 
investing in the high risk accounts on the off chance that you might get rich by it is a rash decision. Getting too comfortable is just a bad decision anyway. I don't care what kind of market you're in, you never get too comfortable. Just like at work, you never get too comfortable. You got to keep doing what you're supposed to be doing. You got to keep grinding. You got to keep improving. Because companies, if they really want to, they can just say, hey, your last day is tomorrow, pack your bags. Your last day is today, pack your bags. Most, more than likely, if you're watching this video, you live in a right-to-work state. That means they have the right to kick you out whenever they want to. And so whether it's getting too comfortable in work or outside of work, just don't do it. Always have plans. I'm not saying to be worried and scared and all tight and tense all the time. I'm saying to always have a plan. That's all I'm getting at in this entire video. I know everybody who invested in Luna hurting right now. You know what I'm saying? But that's crypto is so new that it requires such an amount of research that if you don't do it and the market drops, you're not going to understand why it dropped or why any of this stuff is happening. And if you don't know what would affect your investments, you shouldn't be investing anyway. Because if you decide to invest and you don't know what affects what, now all of a sudden you're freaking out. Now all of a sudden you don't want nothing to do with investing. Now all of a sudden you done pulled all your money out of your investments. And then next month or three months down the line when the investment 10x is for some crazy reason, you're like, oh man, I should have kept it in there. You think? See, Warren Buffett said it best. He said, if I own a McDonald's, which is a business, and I'm getting consistent sales for the first couple of months, but then the third month, I don't see as many sales. Am I going to just withdraw from the business? He says, no, I'm going to look outside. And when I look outside, I see several feet of snow. Okay, well, that's why I'm not getting as many sales. So there's nothing wrong with the business, but something has changed. The terrain has changed. Now there's ice on the ground. And now there's snow everywhere and people don't want to make unsafe decisions and they don't want to risk crashing just to get a burger. It's the same exact way with stocks and with crypto. You got to understand what is going to affect your market. Obviously, a pandemic affected the entire market at once. That didn't mean there was anything wrong with Apple or Microsoft or Google, but they all took a hit. So it doesn't make sense to say, oh, I'm going to no. Like, has the business changed? Do you still use Google products? Did the CEO change? Probably not. Okay, then. So what are you pulling your money out for? See, y'all about to get me fired up in this video. I'm, I'm going to stop. I'm going to stop ranting. But I really do encourage you guys to look into the stock market. Look into the money traps you should not do. And I've, I've talked a lot about frugal living and saving money and what not to do and the cost of living and blah, 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 blah. You can watch a bunch of my other videos on that. I, I almost have 200 videos now on YouTube. So, I mean, just check out my other stuff. But I really want to get into the nitty gritty behind the stock market and the crypto market and all these other things because I think these can be powerful tools, but if you don't know what the heck you're doing, it's basically gambling. That's why investing gets such a bad rap. That's why so many people don't want anything to do with investing or learning how to invest because they think of it as gambling. We're not in Vegas here going into a casino. I live in Nevada and you can't go anywhere without running into a casino. You can't get off the daggone airplane without running into some slot machines. I know what that's about. But the stock market is a strategic thing that deals with businesses, real life businesses that you already spend your money at. You probably go to Walmart. You probably go to Target. You probably go to Apple. You probably use Microsoft products before. You probably use Adobe software before. You have probably been to Starbucks. You have probably been to McDonald's. These are all listed on the stock market. And as a matter of fact, a lot of y'all work at companies that are listed on the stock market. That's like saying you're going to quit your whole job just because it dropped a little bit on the stock market. Like that's just that's not how it works. Anyway, learn about this stuff, self-educate, learn through many different resources, not just myself, not just me getting all passionate up here yelling at you, you know what I'm saying? Read books. It's not the most fun stuff to read, but if you know that something can change your life, like why would you not read it? Why would you not learn up on it? Why would you not make yourself better and improve just because it's boring? You know what I mean? We got to get over this. It's boring mess. Look. I'd rather be bored a little bit now and be on top of the world in a few years than be ignorant and then wonder why life is so unfair because that's what happens to a lot of us, unfortunately. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I definitely enjoyed making it. I'm actually really passionate about talking about stuff like this and the market and, you know, just don't get too comfortable with anything in life. Always have a plan. Always understand the pros and the cons of everything you do and make the smartest decision that you can make with the information that you have at the time. And if you make mistakes, learn from them.
That's what life is all about. But anyway, that's the video for today. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Reggie Bryant, and this channel is all about personal finance and personal growth. So you can control you, control your finances, and control your life. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Stay cold.